YouTube. It's Friday. It is the first. Can you believe it? It's the first of February. So I better get my ass moving on my 2019 collection update. Now we are going to start with steel books. I probably don't have as many as I did on my last year one because I mean money shit happens. You know, um, you're probably looking at I've sold probably about 20 or 30 in total in the last year just to help um, one build up my collections a bit more or any cash needs that I did have really so same as anybody else it's been an up and down year but I'm still proud of what I own so that's why I'll take you through it now the main difference that I want to do this year is tell you the prices of where you can actually get these and how cheap you can get them as well so we'll start as we mean to go on hopefully we'll get this video out of the way as quick as we can for you so you won't fall asleep so what's my first one two guns bloody good film cheapest i found this is actually for four pounds at cex right now good one to have in your collection i think there's some really good stuff on that one this one i think i picked this up at momo x this is 300 rise of the empire and it's a 3d it's still sealed as well now this one is on my last page here isn't it two seconds they have a version of this for four pounds at CEX right now, but if you want this particular one, I think it's about six pound on eBay. I think there might be a slightly different picture on it, but four pounds to get it in steelbook version with 3D, I think you're laughing. That's, a, that's definitely a good one to have. Next is the classic 2012. I love the artwork on the back of that. I think this might be a European one, and the, the British one has slightly different artwork. But you can pick that up for like three pounds, no, three pounds it is at CEX at the moment. So another good one to have in your collection for not much money. This one I've never actually seen. Still, I think I caught like ten minutes of it on Sky once. But ten thousand BC, I think it's a really cool artwork on that one. You can pick this up for two pounds at CEX at the moment. I think that's well worth having for two quid. You'll see me keep leaning over this because I'll just distribute and everything so I don't, it don't all fall over. Another one I really love, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Uh, this is available for £4 at CEX. That's the cheapest I've found that. I do like that film and I do have it separately in 3D as well. Next, the Adjustment Bureau. Um, this could, people bash this one. I actually quite enjoyed it. It's quite a good premise in my opinion. I mean these guys are evil but I mean I'm a, I'm a fan about Damien what can I, I'm a fan definitely um, we're looking at £3.50 so not too bad next we have another one that got bashed by everybody After Earth I think Will Smith was a bit too serious in this one the artwork's good on this but the fact that you can pick this up for £1 at CEX in a steel book I think that's well worth anyone's money. Okay. Next we have Alice Through the Looking Glass. Now this one is a, I think it's Australian, so it is different. There is a 3D version available as well. But you're looking at roughly six pounds seventy five on eBay for this one at the moment. Okay. You're probably talking anything up to ten quid if you want to have the three D version in as well. This is the one disc version. This is not three D, but one with same artwork in 3D is about £10 second hand right now. Next, without it all falling over again, come here, bugger. We have, which I love, is the lenticular Amazing Spider Man. I like these films. I mean, yeah, people bash it a bit, but for £3.50, I think that's worth it. Not too much on the back with that one, but I still think that's well worth the money. When the second one, which I never understood the, the premise of this one, Amazing Spider-Man 2, you can pick this up for £3 at CEX in this style. Good artwork, as you can see. Well worth the money, in my opinion. Next, we have one of the funniest films, in my opinion, Anchorman. I mean, I love Will Ferrell. I really, really do. You're looking at about five in CEX. is the cheapest I've found that right now. You're bobbing around seven or eight pound on eBay still, but for a fiver, I think that's worth anyone's money. And believe it or not, the sequel's even cheaper. Anchorman 2: The Legend Continues. 
you can get this for our music magpie right now for three pound forty nine. That's post free as well, remember? So I think that's well worth it. Sorry if I keep looking down because I've got all the prices down here as well. I only recently picked up this. This is Angels and Demons. It's the Project Arm um, pop art version. I do like the way they do some of these. Um, you're looking at two ninety nine on eBay right now, and that's brand new factory sealed still. So can you really, really say fairer than that? Next we have Attack the Block. Now this is a real favourite of mine. I've sent um, a couple of people this before. Um, I can't remember the name of him. Oh god, it's gone. Down to movie. Bloody hell, my, my mind went. Um, I've seen this a couple of times. It's got John Boyega in it. But right now, this was selling on the Momorex part of eBay. But you're looking... I got this dirt cheap, but you're looking at about £11.72 right now, so it's probably creeping up in its rarity now. It was never released in this country in a steelbook format. Okay, so £11.72 you're looking at if you want to get that old at the moment. And next, the ever classic Avatar. Are we are anyone else looking to the sequel 2, 3, and 4 of that? They're, they're spending a billion dollars on three sequels to this. God knows what the visual is going to look like, but I'm, you know, hopefully I'll be impressed. You're looking at a minimalistic three pounds to get this on steel, but right now, I don't think that's a bad deal. The next one's a bit controversial. Mine is a German version, but you can still pick this up for a fiver at CEX right now. But it's kind of plain, you know. You got the thing on the back. So, but I wanted Avengers in a steel book, and I didn't want to pay through the notes. So I went for the plain version. Next one, this is slightly in a different place. Now we have. Is how, it all comes down to how it gets listed because this one is a bit stupid. Jackass presents bad grandpas. How they it, it lists, but it's, it's just let's call it bad grandpa. Mine is still factory sealed, and let me check the price again. You're talking a fiver at CEX for that at the moment. Mine's factory sealed, but online you're talking eight to ten quid. So for a fiver, why not? And next we have I love this. I think it's a cool film. Battleship two quid how can you not want to spend two pounds on that kind of artwork i love that film brilliant well worth well worth anyone's money that one coming to the end of my first line here i still haven't watched this but i've, heard, I've so much so many people say yes and no to this the bay it looks a bit freaky in my opinion but you know you're talking six pound fifteen on ebay still Okay, so that's the minimum I found it for, £6.15. I think this ended up costing me four quid. So not too bad. I will get around to watching that one day. And another one that's still sealed, uh, somebody sent me this. The best, one of my lovely viewers, Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. So it didn't cost me nothing, but you can pick it up for £3.50. Mine's still factory sealed though, so that's a good thing. We get on to the next line, and have I dropped one already? Where'd that go? One, two, one, two. Oh, there he is. We have cars. I love cars and I love the fact that I've got them all in the steel books. Now, on eBay right now, you'll pay £7.41. That's the cheapest I've found it. Okay. There's some German ones floating around and some Italian ones floating around. So watch, watch you um, on your old regions with that one. But I think that's definitely worth the money. Cars 2 is the least um, expensive one of the lot. I've got Cars 2, but you're only looking at 4.98 on eBay for that one. Uh, or five pound at CEX if you can't be bothered to go online. So not too bad. Let's just tuck him in there. And the ultimate one, which is still factory sealed, even though I've, I've actually had this twice and sold it twice because I've got stupid money for it. But we have Cars 3 in 3D. You're looking at at the moment it's 9.99 brand new on savvy all right brand new for a tenner can't really see fairer than that now can you next one that i dropped again hold on uh, coriolanus coriolanus i got this because i like gerald butler and it's got ralph fines in it as well and he's cool i still haven't watched it believe it or not but he's talking five pound 98 on ebay this is a German release that I've got as well. So there is some, you know, German writing on it, okay? But I love the artwork. I think the British artwork's a bit boring. This one is an Enigma. Crank, 
with Jason Statham was never released in any format. I mean, I think it had a very, very, very slim release on Blu-ray in the UK, I think. And it's gone. It's never been back. Crank 2 you can get for 50p or whatever you want. But to pick up Crank 1 as a still book was jammy as crap in my opinion. The cheapest you can get this right now is £11.36 on eBay. But most people are asking 20 quid up for this. So if you can find it for that kind of price, jump on it. Because you won't find it anywhere else. And believe it or not, CEX lists this on their website, the same German version for 30 quid but then when you go to trade it in they deny that they'll take it in even though they have it listed and this is the cover which is actually listed so that's one I'll probably never ever get rid of because it's going to be so hard to find again next we have The Dark Knight a classic in my opinion brilliant brilliant film believe it or not you're talking up with the 12 quid for this still exactly so that did surprise me but Dark Knight Rises is one of my first steelbooks I ever bought. One of my first steelbooks I ever bought that was. And you're looking at £4 at CEX for that right now. So worth having for four quid, I think, definitely. Next we are talking Death Race. Now this one, don't know why, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I think I paid roughly about a fiver for it. I would say sniff around eBay. Now this is um, the original, uh, I think it's the German version again that I've got of this one. Because it says, Gembrandt wird spät on the back, so I guess that's German. So, like I said to people before, look at the Momowex header on the website and see if you can find that. Because right now there's nothing on there, so I'm sure there's somebody will be selling it somewhere. But you're looking at, I wouldn't go above a fiver on that one. Next one, Devil's Double. I love the artwork on this. I think it's class. But you can pick this up for a quid at CX right now, so that is definitely worth it. Another one of these German perfect ones, District 9. Four pound at CX right now, but this cost me like three quid in German, German like a year ago, so I love the artwork on that. Absolutely, if you haven't even seen this film, get seeing it, it's brilliant. Everyone was always asking for like a sequel to it, and it's just never, never going to happen. But and the next one to me is an absolute classic again, ET. I think is this the UK one? I think this might actually be a Swedish one because when you when CEX typed it in, it didn't come up as a UK one, so they didn't take it. Not that I was going to sell it any. I was just checking prices. But ET, the classic film, you're looking at about a fiver at CEX right now. So I thought, why not? Quite cool. Another one that I saved from the German sites was Eagle Eye. I like this. But you're still talking at least £6.93 on Music Magpie. I think that's with 10% off as well included. So, Sheila Booth, yes, yeah, she's a nut job now, but I still think that film's worth it. If you, ha It's one of those films that you'll watch once. Once you know the premise of it and what's behind it, you're not going to watch it twice, but it's worth having in your collection. Laura, Laura, Laura Charlton. Yeah. One of your favourite films, yes. I gave you my Edward Scissorhands and then I've got myself with a steel book. I am so sorry. But Edward Scissorhands as a steel book, you're still talking around 10 quid on eBay. So definitely worth keeping if you do have it. Next we have Lithium. I can't, I'm trying to remember where I picked this up. I think I got it in a charity shop for a couple of pounds. But you're looking at 3 quid at CEX right now. I do enjoy this film. Uh, bit weird but definitely definitely worth a look at if you haven't seen it this one I found for 2 99 in a charity shop and this is includes the 3d disc so uh, Exodus God and Kings this is a fiver at CEX so in my opinion I was the last little coup includes the 3d version this does it doesn't say anything about 3d on it or even on the side obviously it does but right down the bottom there, I didn't see that but for I got that for three quid you can get it for four next these are three of my favorite films man the expendables you can pick this up still book for one pound fifty right now and you can get the director's cut non steel book for like two pound but i've got both anyway then we have the expendables too i love the mohican artwork on that you're talking two pounds two pounds as a steel book it's cex again 
and then the more more rarer expendable three steelbook you're looking at that's 12 pound at cx so that is definitely rarer but if you're gonna if you're a completionist like me you're gonna have to buy it i just got it i just managed to get it cheaper okay my next page here we go um fast and furious I was an idiot. I sold number eight as a steel book. I don't know why. It was, I got loads of money for it. That's why I did it. You can pick it up right now at Zavi, brand new for nine ninety nine. So it's something I will be doing. Because obviously I want to complete the collection again. I don't know why I sold it. But Fast and the Furious one, two, three, and four as a steel book set. Okay, this is something that you can pick up at CEX for four pounds. How can you not want that? For four pounds, that's definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. Um, the weird thing about these is the, the price fluctuations on these are so bad. I mean, Fast and Furious Five, one pound fifty. That's a steel book. How are you not going to do it? Then we have the. I'll tell you, these are going to fall all over the place. Fast and the Furious Six, which has got some cool artwork on it. Definitely, I do like that. You're talking two pound fifty at CX right now. So we're not talking lots of money, are we? I bought this brand new back in the day because this is one of the best films ever. But you can pick this up for three pounds fifty at CEX. I, I, I love Fast and Furious Seven, and as I said, eight. You're probably talking anywhere between ten and twelve pounds at CEX, but nine ninety nine at Zavi in sale right now. So get on there and buy it. Next one I just recently picked up. So if you if you guys listen to anything I do say on Facebook or anything. Three pound eighty nine. I'm using Magpie right now. Still factory seal. You, you know, you can't go wrong. You just can't. Next, we have Godzilla. Now, the difference with this is, it is. How do I put it? This is the, um, you know, the, the uh, traced in four K version. It has to be that disc inside. As long as it is, this is still twelve quid. At CEX, believe it or not, it's the cheapest you'll find it anywhere. Okay, but it trades in for a good price as well, of course. But then we go to the sequel, as it were. You'll only pay four pound. You know, Godzilla 3D. And then my next one. This is a bit different. Uh, anyone ahead ever heard of Diamond Lux? That's L U X E. There's only about what, 8 to 12 maybe films that you're talking gremlins and things like that um, it's very thin but that folds out into four pieces believe it or not and I have gone with the wind now you're talking in excess of 10 pounds for this really 7 to 10 pounds is the kind of areas I've found it CEX have had them in but it's a bit of a rarity and eBay have had them in I would say have a good hunt round but look under Diamond Lux and it'll bring up more titles okay but that's one I will never get rid of. I'm trying to get my mate to sell me his gremlins. I want it, but he's, he, he don't want to get rid of it. The, enig the enigma that is a good day to die hard. I think we all know that that's about two pound at CEX. Again, why, why wouldn't you get it as a steelbook if you can? One of my favorites, Goosebumps. The second one's out in a couple of weeks. This is a 3D steelbook as well. You're still looking at about eight pound. So you know, eight pound at CX at the moment for that one. Next, we're looking at Green Hornet. I I, I have a history with this steel book. I must have gone into five different CEXs after checking stock, and it says they had it. And every time I went in, it was absolute. Like somebody went in it with a hammer. It's absolutely smashed to crap. But I managed to pick. You can pick it up for three pound right now at CEX. So well worth it. I I actually like that film. A lot of people don't. Another cheapy green zone. Another Matt Damon, believe it or not. But for a pound, why would you get it still? But when it's a bloody quid, I actually like that film. Next, we have Halo: Forward into Dawn. I don't know why, but this is still eight pound thirty-two. I definitely got it cheaper than that, so it must be coming a bit rare because the cheapest I found it was eight pound thirty-two. If you find it cheaper, let me know. I don't think many people are going to buy it for that. Now, if you're looking at the British version of this, you're talking 10 quid brand new on Xavier at the moment for high rise. 
and you're talking thirty pound ninety on eBay, but it's not going to be this version, I don't think. I think the artwork's different. Okay, so if it's still a ten quid, but it's a very strange film. So in the two are logic more powerful than reason. I think that just means get pissed. Next, I love the artwork on this one. The Heels Have Eyes. I've sent um, the Blu-ray King one of these, I think, before. Now, you're looking at £6 at CEX at the moment, as cheap as I found this. I do like the artwork, though. I like the fact that the slip, the bottom slip, matches the artwork as well. It's quite well done, in my opinion. Then we have The Hobbit. You can pick this up for a couple of quid. Basically, all over the place. Now, there's one the, the one set that I haven't included. I uh, I will show it another day. I'm I'm not going to get them down because I've I've got them all mounted up. But I have the Hobbit trilogy in a steel book, and I have the Hobbit, all three of them, 3D versions as well. You're talking ten quid plus for all of those, but the, I haven't them included them in this listing simply because they're they're all hung up. I also have all four Hunger Games in steel books. I have listed them, but you don't need to see the, the, the covers in those, in my opinion, because all all look bloody same. But the prices may surprise you. Now these ones are strange. Um, Hotel Transylvania. Now they're not available as a steel book over here. Well, the first one ain't. If you want this, this will cost you £37.95p as a minimum on eBay right now. If you find it cheaper than that, let me know. But the second one won't hurt as much. You can pick that up for £4 at CEX. Now this again, I went for the German version simply because I got it cheap as chips. But I do like the artwork on that, absolutely, definitely. Next one I think is an absolute classic. We're looking at I Am Legend. I do like this film. I really, really do. But it's still a fiver, you know. You're looking at at least a fiver for this next one, but I still haven't watched it. The Interview. I love the way they take out the piss out of North Korea. But you're looking at least a fiver on that. Probably easier to get on eBay than CEX, I would say. And this is the big controversial one. Iron Man. Okay. There's two ways you can do this. This is the German version. Okay. Now, if you want the British version of this, you're talking 45 quid. All right. 45 quid. The German version on eBay is £27.50. But you can pick up the, tr the new release trilogy. So if you want Iron Man 1, 2 and 3 on a steel, but you can get it for about 35 quid on Zabby. Or German trilogy for about £25.16. Okay, so there's two trilogies available with different artwork. So it all comes down to how much you want and how you want to do it. But I'm happy as Larry that I've got the original like that. And I'll never sell him. A bit more available this one. We have Iron Man 3. You can pick this up for £8.66 on eBay. But you're talking anywhere between 15 and 20 quid at CEX. And the artwork will be different again. This is the German artwork. Alright. So I do enjoy it. Now. What I'm going to do. I'm going to break this up into two. Right. So that's the eyes complete. Part two will go from K through to Z, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So I'll be back with you just in a minute. Take care. Talk to you soon.